Good morning, kind people of the internet. It is approximately 6.52 a.m. on Saturday. I actually woke up at about 4 a.m., which is good because I have to get stuff done, actually, because I'm going out of town today. So I've just been catching up with emails um, and figuring out my schedule for the month of September. And write down write down all the lessons I'm teaching, all the schools I'm going to, and all the gigs I have. And I've also been writing down now my running training schedule because I'm running a half marathon at the beginning of November. So I write down every run for the next two months and then I don't have to think about it and then it's way easier, at least mentally for me, to just stay on a training plan. I can just look at the schedule and say, okay, that's what I'm doing today. Boom, just go do it. All right, so I have a stand guest transcription and it looks something like this. For this one, I haven't been learning it on the instrument. I've just been writing it from the recording straight down into finale right now. And I'm gonna try to work on this on the road a little bit because I don't have to drive today. I'm not gonna turn on this. I'm gonna wait for the light. We are going to North Carlisle, Indiana. New Carlisle. New Carlisle, Indiana. <laughs> There is a uh, seven-year-old's birthday party. It's hard to do this in one. Sunday morning, so I'm actually in the future of when this vlog started, but still in the past of when you're watching the vlog, so it's confusing. I know. We will get back to the birthday party and more awesome scenic shots of Indiana in a minute, so don't worry. But first I wanted to just talk a little bit about Stan Getz. <laughs> Stan Getz had a very lyrical quality to his sound and his playing, and he kind of approached playing melodies more like a singer did, uh, more so than a lot of saxophonists of his time especially. You can definitely hear the influence that Lester Young had on Stan Getz. Here's a little clip of Lester Young. Stan Getz was one of those players when I was younger who I was not interested in. I was really into the guys who were um, really high energy, guys like Kenny Garrett. <laughs> Cannonball Adderley. Michael Brecker. And Chris Potter.
those were some of my favorite players when I was kind of learning how to play saxophone and first getting into playing music. Um, but recently I've been getting back into Stan Getz and I'm now starting to understand the quality of his sound, his phrasing, his ideas. Take a listen to this clip. His sound is just so full here and his phrase is going to flow over the rhythm section. <laughs> So I'm working on transcribing this entire solo of his on the standard All the Things You Are, and I'm going to try to emulate his sound as much as I can and his phrasing. After I've transcribed the whole thing, I'm going to pick out a few of the lines and really kind of dissect them and possibly learn them in all 12 keys, any way that I can kind of take some of the identity of his playing and dissect the DNA, break it down, figure out what's happening. And I think it'll be useful not only for my own playing, but also when I'm working with students, just talking about improvisation and, and taking different approaches with things. So I'm going to upload this transcription this week on the channel. Um, so you can check it out then. So let's cue the birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday. 